everyone, it's Millie. It's Gabby. And welcome back to another week of Change by Degrees. And this week, we thought it would be really funny to kind of do the opposite of what we do all the time. <laughs> In every episode, we always end up talking about all the movies TV we and like. movies, and it's yeah. usually what we like. Yeah. This week, we're going to switch it up, and we're going to talk about movies that we hate. Yeah. Because I don't even think we talk about movies that much either. Um, yeah. Really. And I don't think people know that we're capable of, like, disliking yeah. Film. I mean, considering our range of taste, it has been <laughs> we were all like, over the. It was not the first episode. <laughs> the first episode, episode yeah, and the, people were probably freaked out. Yeah, because it's like we. Yeah, our range of taste goes from. I mean, it, there's the thing. If I like a movie, I like a movie. It's like with music. Like, I'm not gonna be like, oh, I hate all country music. So if right. I hear a country song and I like it, then I like it. Like, so the same thing with movies. But yes, there are movies that we just don't. It's don't so like. <laughs> but but to open, it's really funny. We're gonna go off with a recent one that probably a lot of people have seen. Especially probably it came out in 2020. And yeah. I saw the basically the original version of this film. I don't even know what the actual because it's been remade so many times and really? it's based well, off a book. I saw book, the so. with the enemy after I. I, I saw see. This one. That's one. With, wait, was that Julia Roberts? Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Um, and even that one I thought was better. Oh yeah, dude. That's like um, yes. Yeah, so that's, that's good. But what we saw, and I was so sad because I love. Um, the actress in it yeah. and I even forget her name but we love you Elizabeth, Barbara, Elizabeth Moss. Moss that I think sounds so. correct yes um, but sorry Elizabeth the invisible <laughs> the invisible man, man. I I watched hated first, this then, movie <laughs> <laughs> and then Gabby watched it yeah. and I have to agree I think it was one of those things that like I mean I watched it with my family and I was watching it like it was entertaining because I'm not mm-hmm into horror films. Some wasn't even horror, but like suspense. Like, I will be carving my pants while I watch a movie. It doesn't have to be super scary. Um, but then the more I thought about it, I was like, yeah, that was pretty weak. weak but it plot. wasn't like horror. It was like, si- not, I don't know. Sus- it was like suspense. sci-fi. It was like sci-fi. Sci-fi suspense. Yeah. And I just, it was weak. It was weak. It was just, I will say, there was like two parts in it that I was like, oh, that was good. But that <laughs> lasted for about like 30 seconds. It wasn't even the whole scene. It was... I don't know. And it's hard because I know it's based off... I mean, once again, like you said, there's been so many versions of this movie that is based off a book, The Invisible Man. So, like, when you do that, it's hard to be, like, surprising and original Mm -hmm. and because it's just a carbon copy almost with maybe, like, a little bit of changes, but not much. But I just really disliked this movie, and which is really sad because when I saw the trailer for it back in, like, I don't know, it came out in, like, January, maybe, of 2020. When I saw the trailer for it, I wanted to go see it. And, like, mm-hmm. it was... I went to... The, the day I went to the movie... I like going to the movie by myself because I just I just go sit there and it's, like, relaxing for me. But um, I went after work one day at, like, 4 p.m. on, like, a Monday. And it was between Dr. Doolittle or The Invisible Man. And you were glad. <laughs> and I went you. to Dr. Doolittle because I really... Uh, and it looked cute. So I went and saw that instead. And I was really bummed because I was like, I still want to see The Invisible Man. And then Rona mm-hmm. hit, so I never saw it. So... When you were like, "Oh, I watched it. Tell mm-hmm. me what you think." She she didn't really tell me anything. <laughs> she no, was like, oh, "It's okay." And I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna go watch it and see it's what just, I think." I want to see what Gabby thinks before I like put my input in yeah. because I needed some time to process it. And then the more I thought about it, I was really annoyed. Like the part of the film that was the most annoying to me was when she was breaking out of. Well, oh yeah, spoiler alert! Spoiler. So if you haven't seen it, sorry, sorry. but it's not but worth it anyways. Was, <laughs> I'm screaming. It's I, I, people can have different opinions, but when she was breaking out of the jail and then like in that parking lot, like that whole scene, I found so stupid because I'm like. We're repeating the same thing it's kind of like i should still be scared this should be the when i'm most scared and this is when i'm already like scared because i already know what's happening his suit is breaking the invisible thing and I it was just like, just it, like was, it got less scary the more it went on which i feel well, like it should be the opposite of what like with sleeping yeah. with the enemy i was most scared at the very end when she was about to die right because the but suspense this, builds like, like it should build up into like you know like the climax of the movie and mm-hmm. then you're like oh my like you know suspenseful and it's scary and you're on the edge of your seat but by the time we got into the parking lot scene after she got out of the no, i don't know like, if she was in jail or she was in a hospital in mental whatever clinic, yeah health, she was whatever. like in a hospital well. by the time she got out to the parking lot it was like i had already I already knew how this was gonna end i was like okay obviously there's no <laughs> there was really no twist they tried to make mm-hmm. a twist at the end they tried it wasn't a it twist was, it was weak she Everyone come out. Saw it. Was she come out? She she went to she. Okay, so the guy's alive, right? Because the whole yes. premise is that her boyfriend, her right. abusive boyfriend, is dead, and everyone knows that because he died in a car accident. But mm-hmm. it, but then she's being not haunted, but stalked, whatever, by an invisible force that she thinks is her boyfriend, and it turns out he's in an invisible suit messing mm-hmm. with her for no reason at all. He has no motive to right, do there's this. No, like, there's no motive for him to other be doing any like yeah, like a douchebag. If, exactly. Like there's no point, and like. That's the other thing that annoyed me. Yeah, like when I you have a villain you. or an antagonist with no motive, your whole story is ruined. There's nothing <laughs> because there's no, there's nothing. Like what, for right, what reason? Right. It was weak. It was weak. Is he like antagonizing her just because he's abusive? 
but he faked his own death just to like it didn't make any sense at all so that annoyed me (laughs) but yes it was the ending was like you know obviously he's alive he's like oh we can mend our relationship blah 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 i'm so sorry Mm. and she's at his house having dinner and then she puts on his suit and then like slices his neck with a knife and that was it right that she kills him with his own (laughs) weapon and then she it was just so and also that ending and you know it's bad my brother and he's pretty decent with film and he was just like yeah no 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 he was like not impressed he was not impressed because she's like walking out of the house with her you know black dress on feeling like a badass but then she's like walking to god knows where and And then then the cop comes and he's like gonna cover that the the um, implication is that he's gonna like cover her cover her and, and i was just yeah. like mm, no was, and then they like zoomed in i think the ending shot was like a typical cliche zoom in on the face and i was just like good 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 so that was the only time that i was kind of enjoying myself was like at the very beginning and gabby was texting me you know at the very no, beginning of the house like that was exciting it was I good that was like decent it set it up to be a really good film but uh then it just got so weak and it's, also like yeah. the, the character growth like mm. the way she I didn't understand other than as as the viewer you're getting less and less scared along with her but it's yeah. just because it's yeah like I the i don't know that it just was like just it was i don't even know <laughs> how to describe it was one of those movies that you watch the trailer and you're like oh this looks really good and then you go it's see all the, the movie parts. all the good parts were in the trailer mm-hmm. so that's kind of how it was for me i just oh that one thing okay this really annoyed me <laughs> <laughs> this one i wouldn't even i don't even know it called a continuity error it was just like something that was overlooked either by the people making the oh, film about this, or it was overlooked just by the character herself i don't know so they have a dog right like in the beginning scene oh, yeah, yeah, when yeah. she's escaping mm-hmm. the house there's a dog because the dog has like a, anyway oh, she's trying to keep the dog quiet yeah, right yeah, yeah. so i couldn't tell if this was intentional or if it was just an overlook I don't, I don't know what it was so then like the boyfriend dies whatever she gets out she because she leaves the house she escapes yeah. the dog stays with them but then the boyfriend dies so you assume the dog goes somewhere else mm-hmm. so she goes back to the house like weeks after her boyfriend dying the dog is still in the house by himself should have and i'm like okay was this an oversight off. by the producers or was this intentionally the dog is supposed to be there in the house because the boy- because the guy is yes, still alive. alive but it did not dawn on her so i was like what is happening well, i mean like, she again i wouldn't consider her the smartest of no well, main characters which yeah. is kind which is, of a, which is a fine drag. um but, but it, it also just to get it it's so funny because when you watch it with someone else like <laughs> my mom you know the the scene where they're like fighting in the house yeah but she finds like she goes up to the attic and she finds like the knife yes and i don't know if it was like a wallet just yeah. all these little all clues. This whatever yeah and then i don't remember how you first see his face i think she like spills paint yeah. on him dude and my mom was like wtf <laughs> <laughs> your mom was like what is this <laughs> <laughs> because you haven't seen him up until this point like they're really this like <laughs> yeah. but it's still like suspenseful and i was just screaming because i'm just like yes 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 um but <laughs> i like pooped my pants up i love how your mom was, was like, like what is this <laughs> like <laughs> she was just like because i think you see either the knife floating or something and yeah. then she like knocks over this kind of paint down into uh, he's on the, the ladder attic, on the ladder yeah. and then you see the paint that was kind of that was pretty and my mom was like, clever ah! and, yeah uh, that was, was clever Good. that was a, that that scene was clever the scene when she was getting like beat up by him in the house yeah. and obviously he's invisible mm-hmm. that was clever everything else i was like those were like the two oh in the scene okay so there's three scenes the scene where her sister was killed at the t- table when he picked up the knife oh, that dude, was good that was, that was see, very I very well very that. well executed i think i wasn't expecting that either and for Gabby not to expect something i was expecting that, something to go wrong but it was one of those things where it didn't feel right but you're like i don't know what's about to happen i enjoy that feeling <laughs> in You're life psychopath. and in my movies <laughs> no. but that was the dynamic it was me kind of being like scared a little bit my mom's like yeah. really like what and then my brother's dead inside so we have your like brother's like this is stupid <laughs> the whole time um but that was a good scene and see i'm i'm disappointed though because again she's a brilliant actress she is and it was just and a bad movie for her i think <laughs> she keeps getting stuck in the same roles too but i'm just like with scenes like that i'm like they could have made this something better and then, yes. it, and then it just didn't end up happening i think so i think it's one of those things where you know how actors and actresses like you really like you said like you really like them and they just get either stuck in a role or they get into a role they get into a movie that looks really promising they sign the contract they're stuck and they, they realize like, it's what? really poop and i'm screaming so i'm like dude she was again handmaid's tale i'm still waiting for the new season but yeah I'm just like, that's like good 
mm-hmm. story writing and good characters and i'm just mm-hmm. like what happened here but i also think that's why i don't typically watch i'm not a big fan of movies yeah which sounds like off-putting because i know gabby loves them and i like mm-hmm. a good movie but in general i'm like i like the dynamic of a tv show because you get to know the characters over several episodes right. and seasons um as opposed to like two and a half hours or two right, hours or whatever right yeah. and i just think it's so like a different ball game mm-hmm. to have a good story yeah in, that's fair in two hours yeah um but Invisible Man, if you liked it, that's fine. We don't hate you. Um, we just hate the movie. We just hate the movie. I hate. I can't speak. I just really. I I hated because here's the thing. It just seemed so simple. Like I'm not mm. obviously. I'm not. I don't produce movie. What I don't direct. Whatever. But it just seemed like <laughs> such a simple concept to like make really cool. Mm. And they just like have like 50 minutes in. I was like, all right, this that's sucks. <laughs> and it's again great cinematography and all that. Like mm-hmm. with the enemy, it mm-hmm. was filmed i don't know how many years ago but it was, it was in the night it was good, 1999 but I still was or something more like engaged yeah. it's still kind of like not a dumb plot but it's basically you know a woman trying yeah. to get away from abusive husband or but it was boyfriend done or whatever. better than but it was done better because i think a lot of times movies now try to rely on the fact that they have really cool cgi or really mm-hmm, cool they have for sure all this access to like graphics and stuff to make the film look really really cool and that's all good but if for me if you, like it could look because the movie was like once again he's invisible so they have mm-hmm. to try to you know structure a plot around an antagonist a main mm-hmm. antagonist that you, you can't, can't see, see. Mm-hmm. so that's really cool and like they did i think they did that aspect really really well because yes. that's hard to do mm-hmm. um but when it but if you have all of that and like no like s- support from like your story or your antagonist and motive and character then i'm like i'm not watching this because mm-hmm. i might as well go watch i don't know any any other movie that has no plot or anything else that has no plot for just the cgi and the special effects like you mm-hmm. know what am i watching this movie for yeah. really it came down to i was watching it for the special effects because that's everything that i liked about the knife with yeah. the sister and or like pouring the paint on them. the bedroom and you yeah. see the sheets moving that yeah so that's all the too. stuff that i'm like that's like when i think back on the movie i'm like well that's what i enjoyed and it's all cgi it had nothing to do with plot yeah. or story so the film team great but the story writers what yeah. happened week 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 especially mm. since you had a book to go off of oh, and really? several the movie. yeah it was a book well no no no. i mean there was a book the invisible man by uh, what's his name? Ralph Ellis. Uh, oh, it's a classic. That. The Invisible Man is, is a classic. Oh wow, I had no idea. It was written in the 19th so century. Really so it's like you had a book, you had Sleeping with the Enemy, you had all these other movie remakes, and you were still weak. And you still wanted to do CGI. You still wanted to just focus on that. Yeah, that whole budget was spent on the CGI. It was, dude. I tell you, when she was escaping, it gave me a very um, Terminator Two, uh, Sarah O'Connor vibes. Yes. I think that's it. And when she's running out of that mental hospital, and it's like all the guards end up dead. You could bring yeah. another twenty into the room. That's and they'll oh, end up dude. dead. And I was like, "That's all the these scene. people keep dying." And the, okay. the guards yes. are so stupid. That's the other scene that went on. I remember texting and being like, "This is going on." It went on. I should have timed it. Um, I, I, it's a safe bet that scene went on for a good like <laughs> three or four minutes, well, which doesn't sound five. like a lot, but no, like dude, that was, was a thing. lot. And also, it's like the guard walks in, they don't know what's going on, or they just react so slowly. I'm like, there's no way. This is what there's happens. No way. Let me walk you through this. This is what it said in the script because I definitely read it <laughs> and I know. Um, <laughs> but this is what happened. Okay, so a, a guard would come in and be confused, like you said, like in that hallway they were yes. in or whatever. He would go like he would look around. He'd be like, "Oh, there's already a dead guard on the floor." So he would put his hand on his gun, (laughs) pull his gun out, and be like, you know, looking to shoot somebody. I don't know what he's thinking. And then all of a sudden, he's like beat up by an invisible force, and he falls on the ground. And then another guard comes in, and he's looking around like, "Oh my god, there's two dead bodies. There's shoe prints and blah blah blah." And you know, there's some twitching because I think his suit by that point was like kind of broken, damaged, so he could see him twitching or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he'd be like, "What the heck?" So he put his his hand on his gun and he'd take (laughs) his gun out, and I'd be like, "Okay, this happens like several times." I hate it. And that was the scene for like four or five minutes. It was way overdone. It was horrible. I hated that. So that was again. It's just like you would have a scene like that, and then five minutes before, it's when she first stabs him in the shower because she's finally like getting over his her fear of him. Yeah. So I'm just like, what? Oh, there was no just nothing makes no there sense. was no and substance also her friend who finally ends up believing her i'm just like cliche yeah oh, the oh what was the weird thing with the friend or no that was her Cause, sister cause she ends up beating she does something to the daughter oh yeah oh oh what did yes. she do to the daughter that then either hits well he doesn't he or she doesn't up, she doesn't do she doesn't do anything to the daughter remember she was talking to the daughter and then the the invisible guy her boyfriend hit her hit the daughter and then oh and she thought the daughter thought so the daughter was, was like yeah just hit me and then the dad walked in and was like you need to get out right okay okay, okay. so she didn't so do that it, was kind of stupid and then but they ended up no one died in this film no, well no, except no. for the boyfriend well, the but guy, no one yeah. but no one like 
good, quote unquote mm-hmm. good characters no one died but yeah that was and then kind insane of stupid. Everything. and like the brother of the douchebag is also a douchebag the lawyer yeah, guy which that from dynamic, the beginning you knew you he was tell, involved so that was just, it was just really messy and when they talk i don't know it just felt it was just weird sometimes. it was like it was, they had all these like subplots going in trails but mm, they they didn't go together. anywhere they just were like uh, i don't know so yeah that movie was just in our opinion not well executed but that's just our opinion who are we really <laughs> I think the more you think about it the more you're like yeah but it is one of those things like you finish it and you're like I mean, once okay. again special effects a cgi right. oh wow that was really mm-hmm. but then you think about it and you're like well what happened to blah 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 and why is this the way it is and mm-hmm. well that was stupid and okay like it was one of those like <laughs> underwhelming the more you think about it the more underwhelmed you get <laughs> but i think that's the only suspenseful movie we had on the list or maybe i think you have one but well, i'll, I'll, go ahead, I'll share even, one of mine yes um because i think people will think i had like i hate all children's movies and that's not the case because i'll share one that i do like but what's what's a good one to start with i'll start with one that i despise this is gonna make me sad because everything I, she was naming i was like i love all these movies <laughs> it, it, so which doesn't surprise me but i hate happy feet i love happy feet okay I, let me as a kid and this is annie i just think it's a character arc that i just there's none for me and for it's, mumble is that his name that's the, the tap, tap dancing the tap penguin. Dance and penguin all he does is cry through the whole film because well, he's an outcast and it's like it's like charles webb but as a penguin charlotte's web isn't that very good it's also her okay, okay so you are agree. you kidding no 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 because no. listen happy feet has like 80s music in it that they redo and I, he, you're really happy with that aren't you <laughs> the opening song is kiss by prince so what do you want me to do again, <laughs> hate I know, maybe, it? <laughs> maybe if i watched it again i would enjoy the music but just like for me as a kid i hate it when the main characters just cried the whole time i was just like what is going on yeah. there's no point to this and i remember the thing to thing what was his name mumble mumble yeah. tap dancing mm-hmm. he couldn't get- sing but he could tap his heart out because <laughs> all the other penguins could sing really well and he couldn't <laughs> he was just- <laughs> ruin the ruin the party every time when he opened his mouth his beak i just hated it i don't even, i don't remember how it ended all i remember again like with charlotte's web the thing is crying the whole time no it was and so then, like, good you forget though. the parent and separated from the uh, parent yeah. and he like goes off in a block of ice his and dad is disappointed in him and so he comes back though and he's like and he you know it's okay to, he dances hard. he's like it's okay to be different like i don't have to be like the other penguins and he's not because they Which, can all again, sing i love the message you know? i'm just like as a kid <laughs> I'm just like I, I don't love that movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, disclaimer: I also tap dance, so that was already well. Again, that makes I was sense. Like, oh, like, I love to that. Me, I'm like, I, I can't did, tap like, dance. The, I liked the story though. Even if I couldn't dance or I couldn't tap dance, I I think the story is like it was just so cute. I loved it. <laughs> I really did. I, I, I'm sorry you like hated those, it. It was a really penguin. Like I was telling you about Surfs Up. Okay, that was which I no. still. I mean, you didn't even watch it. No. I still preferred Surfs Up to Happy Feet because it was, what for me, was, it was the, a little funnier. No one was crying. What was the premise? behind Dude, i couldn't up. it's been so long i no. think it's kind of like it's a surfing movie so he yeah but i never ends saw up, he's like a rookie runner-up okay. underdog and he ends up winning the big competition in the end blah, blah blah and you have your typical surfer boy dudes whatever it just it was funny surfer to me. penguins surfer <laughs> penguins you know um yeah, I never but it saw wasn't that annoying one. to me so i was like fine i still didn't love it i don't know why animated penguins were a big deal like uh, yeah 10 years I, ago. Couldn't, I couldn't tell you why that but there was really a big was kick. that also disney do you I remember? Because oh, I, I remember Maybe it coming Pixar. out. I don't know. But I don't remember. But if it was Disney, I'm assuming it. it was. I didn't watch it because I was like, that. I'm not even going to waste my time. And I never saw it. I'm pretty sure I never saw <laughs> but it. But just happy I don't remember. Happy, oh, happy yeah. Feet. Dude, yeah, Happy Feet, I saw several times and we did had the DVD. Did they the second one? They did. I never saw it. Yeah, dude, couldn't be me. Yeah. Because it's like little. Does he grow up? Or well, yeah, he grows up, the, he grows in, the up the in the movie, too. He's an adult in the first one. And then the second one, I don't know what it's about. All I know is that. There are like little penguins. I don't know if they're his babies or they're other penguins. I don't know what the premise is, but yeah. I never saw it. Yeah. So if I want, if there's, now I'm thinking about all the children's movies I know, but for example, I'd rather watch, oh my God, Kung Fu Panda. I love Kung Fu Panda. Any <laughs> penguin movie because that. I mean, what's not to like? So Jack funny. Black. I mean, Dude, it's hilarious. It's, it's not hilarious. To like. I mean, those are funny <laughs> characters, and no, again, no one was crying. That's all I want. Well, in the other ones that I'm about to list, it's like, they're not crying. That's just like, I hate the animation. Yeah, I was going to say that. That's nothing to do with... I know. They weren't crying, but I was just like, this so, stupid. So uh, the other two, which Gabby also loves, which I I'm do. just like, I, I They're a it. very big part of my childhood. I hate it so but much. Even with my, like, my family. Like, it's a very big part of, like, my family. Like, me and my brother growing up and my, with my... Like, yeah, dude. 
Go ahead. Tell your little tell hate on what hate on my childhood. I'm not gonna hate on it. I'm just like again, it was boring to me as a kid. So I hated Chicken Run. I love Chicken Run. (laughs) And I hated Wallace and Gromit. That hurts me. I don't even know if people know what Wallace and Gromit is. But I'm just I hate the animation, number one. It's like claymation. It It looks dark. I didn't understand what was going on. I just yeah maybe I was too young at maybe the time, yeah but, maybe you just didn't get it maybe if you watch watched it, it now no, no did I no. love Wallace and Gromit the epi- well yeah because it was they had a movie but there was also different episodes where like Dude. we had the VHS where they go to the moon because I think it's made of cheese and like that really cracked I me up and then it. Chicken Run did I think Chicken Run is hilarious it's either on Hulu or Netflix because I see it advertised at times but I haven't watched it in like probably 15 years but i just don't like like chicken run the way their beaks looked annoyed me and just like They're everything chickens. But chicken little things i don't know but i was just like and then they end up flying away in this airplane and by the end of the movie i'm like uh-huh yeah. now i really want to watch chicken run I, I really i thought that movie was hilarious I mean, what's not to like? The premise is chickens living on... They're living <laughs> on like a slaughter farm, right? Or something? That's what I'm saying. It's so, it's so, so like, funny. It's dark. <laughs> it's so funny. Because oh, it's, it's like, like... It's dark. Oh, it's the good. movie looks dark. They look kind of like not good. Oh, well, yeah. That's the style. It's almost like it's not. But it almost reminds me of like Tim Burton animation. But it's not like Which that. Which also, I haven't ever Do, watched a Tim oh, Burton Oh, dude. Tim film. Burton is... Um, have you not seen Nightmare Before Christmas? No. Dude, one of my favorite Tim Burton films. It's a tie between Nightmare Before Christmas. I mean, everyone loves that one. That's a classic. Um, or Coraline. Yeah, you see, but I would hate the animation in that. You would probably hate Coraline. Coraline yeah. was very creepy. Or, oh, dude, The Corpse Bride. No, I haven't seen oh, any of Dude, these. so good. The Corpse Bride, Tim Burton's Corpse Bride, is so good. I'm screaming. Yeah. No, because I just don't enjoy that style of animation. Like, I like... I love Monsters, Inc., Monsters Inc. is a good that, one. I yeah. love that. That was the movie of hilarious. my childhood. I could watch it every night and be like, and then well, that's Pixar, not that it's of course. As good, yeah, but Monsters Inc. Too, whatever the university. The one university. Was cute. Like, I never saw that one either. Like it was okay. It wasn't as good as the original, and the original can still crack me up. I'm like, that's good story writing, dude. It is. Well, like, of course it is. It's Pixar and Disney. I mean, they you, you, you know they know what they're doing. Yeah, but so I like children's movies. It's mm-hmm. just those were really dumb. I'm sorry to like Chicken Run or Wallace and Gromit. It just dude i just couldn't get past like how it looked yeah i was just like wasn't even paying attention maybe yeah. i watch them now i'd enjoy the story but i just don't like that style of animation mm-hmm. and then oh dude there was one oh, it's, it's not a movie i hate and i forget what it's called it's like these two guys that are trying to renovate this house and this little mouse is destroying oh, I their pro- you haven't seen it i feel like you you would really crack up at this movie. it's a mouse is it animated no oh it's like real Two yeah. real dudes and trying to renovate this house to, to sell it at a really high price. And I think it's this little mouse that's like interrupting the process. I'd have to look up the title. I'm sure your I'm sure your mom probably knows what this movie is. Probably. Was like screaming at probably. me again. What the, the title only is. movie I can think of with a mouse is Stuart Little. I know, but which also not. that was kind of stupid. But yeah, I didn't I didn't like Stuart Little. Stupid. Yeah. Again, weak, like just whiny. Well, also whiny when characters. you have like re- like I'm not into like half realistic and half yeah fake. and then have like a mouse running around although i know i just said i went to go see dr doolittle but that was different because he can talk to animals as opposed to like oh there's a mouse right. that we just accept can talk everybody and no one has anything to say like you know it's just like why was it the problem for me i just thought it was like what it was kind of just weak. yeah it was so like it wasn't baby, it was babyish. it was just kind of weird but anyway i don't or know flushed what away Dude, same oh, thing I with didn't the animation. like and you didn't like flushed away. away no because i just thought it was stupid but it wasn't the animation that was like put me off i just all these like I haven't seen these movies in forever, but I remember them. But and Flushed I'm Away, of, was that? That wasn't, like, I thought that was just, like, regular animation, like, uh, Pixar-type animation. Yeah, but, dude, like, the little turds that are in the sewage. I'm like, dead. They're, like, <laughs> like, it was, like, bad animation to me. I just didn't. Yeah. Like, Monsters, Inc. is so much more colorful. Yeah. It's like, why are we making yeah, movies Away was kind penguins of like and stupid. rats and... Like, yeah. Ratatouille's better. Like, the animation wow. looks so nice. Ratatouille, so that's nice. the story right there. Versus Flushed Away. Well, Flushed Away was a piece of crap, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get it? <laughs> Kill me. Yes, dude, I get it. <laughs> Flushed Away could fit into one of those singing turds that were a bit in the film. <laughs> Which, again, I'm just uh, like, is Ratatouille's... Ratatouille was very good. Story, animation, <laughs> everything, dude. Just, like, so good. I just, like, again... Yes. Ratatouille was good. I love Ratatouille. So yes. I like children's films. I'm just like, when you have a whiny, stupid character. Sometimes that happens. Not every that? character can be secure in who they are. That's not, I mean, that's not relatable at all, is it? No, it's not. But 
that's basically i didn't have any non-animated movies that <laughs> you I just had don't like with. animated movies um i i listed you, do, you a listed few, like two a few. Not, there you go two there out of go. the four hundred thousand animated movies that not exist even hmm. not hmm. even okay but kind of no that's fine yours are not children's movies, no they're not so they're not children's movies although i have to say i did watch one of these when i probably wasn't old enough to watch it but i don't think anyone's old enough to watch it you probably should be like 45 before you watch <laughs> Dude. the one i have but um the first one that is i don't think either of these are like controversial because i think pretty much everyone kind of was like yeah these were horrible movies but the first one was 2012 i haven't seen that one I don't see Maybe it my mom it seen was it. like two and a half hours to me it felt i saw it in theaters i don't remember who i was with i think maybe i was with my dad it came out in like 2009 i think but it was about it was called 2012 and i think everyone knows what i'm talking about is the movie like about the end of the world because everyone yeah. thought then the world was right. gonna end in 2012 so i went to go see this movie and once again there's a theme here there was no plot yeah there was literally no plot there was a i mean Which there was a the main time, but right yeah there was like a main character they tried to make a main character who was like he was like an author or something and he had a family but it was irrelevant because the world was ending and so then for two hours you're just watching the world end and once again this was made in 2009 so yeah like the height of like great cgi like mm. i think avatar had just come out mm, and so you know everyone was like Oh, Let's add this. James Cameron. I don't know who did 2012. But anyway, you know these people like Michael mm. Bay films and James Cameron films that, you know, the CGI and like the graphics are like on point. Mm-hmm. But then everything else like kind of falls flat. Yeah. Not to drag anyone. But um, so I think it people just got super like, or producers and directors got super into like this new technology that you could use to make mm. movies that they could afford and then the plot and everything else fell by the wayside because they're like well people will pay to come see how cool this looks yeah and yeah the scene where the statue of liberty true, falls into the ocean yeah it's really cool dude but like you know what everything, else, everything else was horrible yeah. you know so which is something that a lot of i think films just fall into nowadays yes they rely on that yes definitely especially with like horror not that that was a horror film but a lot of horror films do you the did same tell me thing. about that yeah. yeah that they just rely on mm-hmm. how scary something looks yeah and the plot sucks and the plot so. is horrible so I, that movie was was awful and i it didn't need i didn't need to process that I was sitting there watching the movie being thinking in my mind this is a really bad movie like I'm you know when you look past once again like the CGI and the graphics it's like yeah there's nothing here and all I remember is there's some Russian guy who was trying to get on a plane and he was like some Russian diplomat I don't really know who he was and then his like look, he had like great. two twin boys or two sons that were like super spoiled and I think they ended up dying I don't really know everyone kind of died in this film I don't know what happened to the main character I don't know what his fate was I don't remember but all I know is that there was just like earthquakes and like volcanic eruptions and flooding and fires and the natural world was disasters. ending natural disaster yeah. that's it was thing. like it was like natural pandemic disaster whatever movies. game we played oh yeah dude it's like no, that. It called pandemic yeah pandemic, pandemic. too but I'm, I'm also not into like supernatural disaster films but mm. but yeah it was just a horrible film and i was like this is really really bad and i don't even know if anyone even like remembers like i literally if it wanted if it, if it didn't make the impression on me that it did of me not liking the film i probably would come I would have completely forgot about it by now. I'm screaming. Like, it's not it memorable. Bad. It was right. that bad. It was that forgetful. It was just not good. Um, and then the, the other movie, which, Dude, once again, I don't know <laughs> if this is, like, just something that was between, like, me and my friend group that, like, we all knew about it. And, like, me and my classmates, like, we right. all knew about it. Or if this was, like, a universal thing that if I, when I say this, people are going to be like, oh, yeah, I remember when I first watched that. <laughs> um, is And I, I feel bad even putting this on the list because it's really not even a movie. <laughs> It is. It is. It is oh, a movie. Okay. I'm like, but it's like, is it a movie? Because I mean, I guess it's a feature length film. Let's put it that way. Would I categorize no. it a movie? I would categorize it as like an experimental project that happened to get produced and put out there. Um, but then there was like three, one, three more after that. Anyway, Human Centipede was dude. That's so nasty. Horrific. Where? Like, and I didn't even watch the whole thing. I did you, not watch the whole you thing. You don't need to watch the whole thing to get the like, gist of it. Maybe a scene or two. And I'm just like, number one, what is this? Like, who came up with this idea? Who don't thought, know. like, yes, let's put that on film. Mm-hmm. Let, let's do this. Mm-hmm. Let's have a budget for this. You know what's bad? What? Is that... Because I, me and Candace, I'm going to drag your name in here. Because <laughs> you know you did. Me and Candace and probably a few other people, we we watched it in, like, middle school. Because that was, like, the be movie that was, like, oh, if you can watch this movie, you're, like... Not hardcore, but it was like kind of the feelings like, oh, can you get through this movie kind of thing? It wasn't scary. It was just disgusting. Yeah, it was nasty. Um, and I don't remember. It's not American. I think it's British. Probably, because I don't think... Dude, I'm, I'm just thinking about it now. I'm just like, this is so disgusting. It's it was fine. really gross. Um, but what's wild is that like the first one came out, and I don't remember what year it came out. And then 
there's like two more after it. There's like three. There's like a series. And I'm like, who's producing this? I think when it reaches a certain level, it gets to a niche of people it does. who like want to be like internally in pain from viewing nasty stuff. It's definitely in that like like a whole new level where it's not about story. It's just like how creepy, wrong. Yeah, because there's nothing there. Get. There's no substance. It's just this I think you're right. of it's, a film it, yeah. that they're like I like it's so weird that you're like perturbed and you need to keep watching it. Like some people yes. really are drawn I to that for some weird. Like you're psychopaths who ever enjoyed that. So, I think it's just one of those movies or like series, so I guess, because like, there's three of them now. But it's famous. That yeah, it's like so bad that everyone kind of like if you follow like the horror thriller community, everyone kind of knows about it. It's mm-hmm. one of those. It's not a cult classic, but it's one of those like like you said, like very niche group of people that for whatever reason, mm-hmm. it just. I think it starts off ironically that people not like it ironically but are like oh yeah human centipede because it's like a joke right but then it actually gains traction Mm -hmm. and so i think it was one of those things but i remember watching that movie and being like what the heck is this like it was so gross and i don't remember how long it was but it was definitely like oh yeah it's too long dude there was minimal dialogue it was in black and white i think yeah it was in black and white i don't know why they just chose black and white and it was the most disgusting thing. I was like, "What?" And once again, <laughs> there's no, there's no plot. It's I just can't a imagine guy. You're in school being like, yeah, I remember sitting there this. watching it. I don't remember whose house I was at, but it was one of those things where it was like we were having like a sleepover, and we were like, "Yeah, we're gonna watch Human Centipede," and not tell our parents because we're hardcore. <laughs> and so we we did, and like I just remember sitting there being like, "There's not like, what is the purpose? There's no That's plot. It's, it's just like, a it's, guy." I think it's the visual. It is like there's movies that people watch whether it's cgi or whatever for just for the visual component yeah and which i'm like again i bet you that audience is some serial killers some <laughs> probably some mentally disturbed people probably they're like you know what i'd be curious to see what this looks like because i would rather than do it myself i'm like i want to see i just i like, don't even know really. who produ- i should have i should have googled like who directed i don't want to know movie. i hope they're like not here <laughs> because i'm just like please don't make any more yeah I, I don't know but that movie was disgusting and the fact that they made two more after it i'm pretty sure i watched i don't think i saw the second one i'm pretty sure i watched like the third one or something like that of course it's the same thing over and over again it's just like a different person this time yeah. instead of being the main guy doing mm-hmm. making the human centipede in the just sorry uh-huh. the premise is just horrible i can't even like th- wait i can't even talk about it seriously <laughs> without, like, like me explaining it makes me kind of like when i kill myself little, but like i yes. think instead of being the main guy it's like the guy's friend and so he does it now with and he just gets people and then like t- does makes them into yeah. a human centipede and they just crawl around his pool i remember them being like a pool or something i don't remember but yeah that was this is that was the other one that i was like yeah dude i remember watching that being like this is really a horrible film but i don't think that's anything controversial like i think everyone knows it's horrible except for that once again select group well, of people. I, I swear it's those people who are like arguing it's like breaking this boundary it's of not like cinematography it's not Whew. it was bad the fact that so. it's a film is just like i don't yep. want to know what's worse than that hopefully nothing but yeah but that was like the thing when i was in middle school and everyone was talking about yeah it. i don't think anything has reached that level I, I wouldn't say so just no at least not in like horror nastiness. films after that i wouldn't say that there was anything that was like because it's gruesome. different like horror is horror but like that's just disturbing it was just gross like, it was just, just nasty gross. it was just gross i wouldn't even categorize that as anything once again that's why i was like it's a movie but it was more of like like that being categorized as horror i was like but it's not it's it's just gross like it's no Dude. purpose it's not scary it wasn't scary it was just nasty <laughs> like <laughs> it was just really gross so anyway I, I don't know i really couldn't think of many movies that i had like such a visceral reaction to i mean invisible man i didn't have like a visceral reaction to well, but i was just like i hated it you were really kind You're of strongly right. I, I was like were really i don't like kind this. of basically she felt like her time had been wasted so i still feel like that you, still feel, you can't yeah. get those two hours back however long that was yep um but dude, that's such like a horrendous note to end on. It is. I'm sorry, we ended up with until, Human Centipede. Until well, I mean, end. I, yeah, well. Like, I wish we had movies that we liked to do. That's well, not you, just you human. said you liked Monsters, Inc. Yeah. Oh, and Megamind. I don't know if you've seen Megamind. Yes. Megamind cracks me up. Really? Yeah. That's funny. Like, it, I did not expect it, that to For some it. reason, I'm just like, cracks me up. I just, it's stupid, there but it cracks go. me up. Um, you know, they didn't do a second one, but those are all children's movies. I'm trying to yeah. think of like recent movies I've seen that are like, good which mm. kind of says a lot doesn't it 
Well, I mean, like, there's the, been no movies. What's the current? Well, oh, we're waiting for Mulan. Oh, Jack's yeah, gonna that's wear going to Disney party Plus. With that. Disney They're Plus in you September. Thirty dollars. I know. Um, it's like buying the DVD. That's like more. Well, Blu-ray DVD. <laughs> it's like if you Blu-ray. bought the Blu-ray of Mulan at the store Which, when it first came out on the first day. That's what it's like. But uh, yeah, the fact that Blu-ray was a thing coming soon to Blu-ray <laughs> DVD and DVD. I hate it. Yeah. Because I can't think of any. Again, I'm, I'm not a movie watcher, so I'm not going to say that. Like, my brother loves the Marvel series. Oh, yeah. And there's some people, like, my mom loves it. I can't get into I'm not super into superhero stuff. No. But Unless it's uh, Henry. Good. But Unless it's Henry. Unless it's Henry. So, what, what, what superheroes are you into now? Henry. Henry. No, 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 no. Oh, Justice, Justice League. Justice League. I have to, I have to say this. You thing. couldn't catch me that's dead the thing. that. <laughs> that's the thing that sucks, dude. I got to now pay some money <laughs> go see Je- I, mean, I don't even know what's coming out i think 2021 or 2022 i don't even know i'm screaming but now i'm like dang it henry Justice i gotta go League. you're in you ju- saw superman uh, and also i didn't go to movie- theaters and see it i thought you did no no i saw it me and brianna watched it together actually oh, in her house movies. no but this one i'm gonna i'm gonna go also, see that was like, also a stupid movie what superman yes how is that stupid okay, as superman you- what you talking about? No, 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 wait, no, wait, no, no, wait, no, no, no. wait. No, 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 no. Wait, what? You just think it's not stupid because it's Henry. No, but it's Superman. How is it stupid? Like, it's... Like, Kryptonite and the ending scene with Lex Luthor. Like, I'm just like... Oh. There's... Like, the whole story. Like, the premise. Not the movie itself. Just the premise of Superman is stupid to you. The, so, if Superman is stupid, that means the movie is stupid. It doesn't matter who plays it. Well, no, I but I mean, you I hate... Great. But what I'm saying is, like, Did you, you hate the comics. To... You hate the... I mean, the whole premise, the whole well, universe of Superman you find stupid. It's not just the one... Oh, well, no. I, like, like, again, I'm not a big superhero fan, but there's some superhero movies that are done well. Mm-hmm. I think story writing's good, but Superman in particular, especially the one with Henry Cavill in it. How is it especially I, the one with him? Because okay, that well, movie was remade. That, that, that was a remake. Was that it a remake? Was, yeah, of course. Superman has been around for Dude, I freaking since the Middle Ages. Well. Like, can you tell me any detail? Yes. From, that's from not, Superman? That's not Henry Cavill. Yes, I can tell you. I can tell you because... Because <laughs> you were not paying attention no, to No, I anything. wasn't. But I know the like, general story of Superman, though. You told me he that comes from a, <sighs> from a planet and, and he crashes on Earth. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop right there. Stop right there. <laughs> That's what it I, I is. Stop right there. I'm not talking about the general storyline. I'm talking about the film because you told me. When yes, you, no, that's no, what happens stop. in the film. Because you told me after you watched it with Brianna, you're like, what happened? And like, I don't know. All I know is Henry Cavill. That's true. But I do know like what he was doing throughout the film. Can I explain the whole plot? No, but I know what like occurred. He crashed on Earth. Why? I don't know. He's allergic <laughs> to kryptonite. <laughs> Why do I don't know? It's just he is. Sound so like, ignorant. You're just like why? He why has a allergic reaction up? to kryptonite. I don't know why he does. He just does kryptonite. Kryptonite. <laughs> kryptonite. <laughs> and then he goes to save his old mom on the farm. Why? What? I don't know. From what? <laughs> don't know. But that's what happens. Like she's like, and then I don't know. You, but that's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> he saves. Like, I don't know. But that's what happens. <laughs> Story of my life, dude. <laughs> You're embarrassing yourself right now. I can what? say more. No, like what? Like I can say. Oh, his poor uh, female his, character um, writing. Lex Luthor. That's his name. Dude, I said it. That's the only reason oh. you know it. No, no, that's not true. Because yeah. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> his um, what's his love interest? I was gonna say Lois Lane. Oh, dude, I was gonna say Mary Jane. That's Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> that's so that's Spider Man. That's the redhead, isn't poor... it? Lois Lane has the black hair. No, it's. Wait, wait, wait. You oh, said- Amy Adams. No. no. Amy oh, Adams just- is in Superman. Yes. Yes. <laughs> You're I can't remember. Amy I Adams know. plays Spider-Man Lois like with Henry. So my brother was Spider-Man? Here. Yeah. Not- oh, because like, one uh, is- Spider-Man Homecoming was Zendaya. I'm not talking about the actresses. I'm talking oh. about the actual in the story of Spider-Man. Oh, I thought you should talking about the actresses. There's a redhead actresses. and then there's uh, another chick. So there's two. So yeah. I don't know. And one of like the more recent Spider-Mans had the new chick whatever yep we're not talking about spider-man i'm talking about superman so my issue with superman for example mm-hmm. is like well just everything about it but mm. like poor female character writing like it was so stupid well, to me he's Lois a Lane superhero was like, i don't know if it's like the ex-husband is lex luther but like when they're in the helicopter or oh, the boat and then i have a question she's, like an abusive like with the son that's also weirdly put in there i just again wait now who's lex luther <laughs> is the that bald guy so the- Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Lex Luthor is not Superman, right? No. So what's Superman's the name? enemy. What's Superman's name again? What's Clark, his name? Clark Kent. Kent. That's who, I see, I said Lex Luthor was Superman, you, that's not true. 
Did you watch Clark you? Kent? Clark Kent. I knew that. With I knew sun, that. With, with which he can wear glasses and yes. be Clark Kent. He's, in the he's he New takes Times. his suit. He rips his suit off in this telephone booth, and he's Superman. He has a suit underneath. That's what happens in like the original or whatever. I don't know that, if it happened in this movie, but yes, it did. <laughs> did yes, it? Yeah. Okay. He was and in he telephone like goes booth. Up to, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh dang! Okay. And he goes up to the sun and he gets re-energized and then he comes back down. Oh, yeah, know. that whole scene. Where he's like really weak from the kryptonite, the kryptonite, the kryptonite, mm-hmm. his kryptonite. The kryptonite. and he goes up to the sun. He's allergic and he's like, to it. That's why. Yeah, and he's it takes the Claritin. opposite of allergic to the sun. And he goes up to Claritin. the sun, and mm-hmm. he's like re-energized, and he goes and defeats Lex Luthor. But I'm just like, I really found the movie annoying because I'm like, when when his girlfriend who doesn't know that Superman is Clark Kent because mm. she doesn't have eyeballs apparently. Well, he wasn't wearing his glasses. Stupid? So he was in disguise because he took his glasses off. Duh. <laughs> Don't you know how this works? <laughs> I'm confused. So that. And then, yeah, so the creepy boat scene where she's like in the kitchen of the boat mm. and her son, she's trying to tell her son to shut up. And oh. Lex Luthor's like going around the boat. Like, I remember some specific details I do not that remember I found any particularly of that. stupid. I do not remember any so of that. So it's just, again, annoying. Okay. But I'm glad that you found the plot, everything very fulfilling, especially since Mr. I didn't Cavill. find it fulfilling. I just thought it was a good Here, the visual, visually acting appealing. choice to cast him. It was a good casting choice. And I just know the general story of Superman, like I just explained. So. That's okay. It's okay. Yep. It's like, you have yet to see the youngest, I don't know what film you've seen with like the youngest version of Henry Cavill. Oh, but Count of Monte Cristo. Count of Monte Cristo. Yeah. We have to see that one. And okay. I want to see, maybe that's one that we can talk about in a future episode. Because I'm like, yeah, he's like I a loved baby. that movie when I was younger. He was a baby. He's a baby. Like his teeth weren't even straight. Not that they're super. I'm really well, like, <laughs> screaming you were like he hasn't even had braces yet well, <laughs> he just like, seemed like a baby or maybe maybe he's the same i don't know you'll probably think he's the cutest thing out no, there no 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 because i'm like, not into like, like he wasn't yeah, like that's fully creepy that's kind of weird fied, whatever man, oh man. lord so really what you're saying is <laughs> it was like a teenage boy in yeah the film. that's weird okay but, let me not <laughs> no dude we will watch that's it that's strange get, no i'll watch it but i'm not gonna comment it's like you're I'm sure you will. Kind of. I'm sure you'll still. No, I will not. Recently, your energy. No, I will not. If I hadn't seen him as he is now, I would have. But because I've seen him today in the year of our Lord 2020, (laughs) I don't need what he was 15 years ago. That's not. I'm not interested in that. It's irrelevant. Because listen, we're grown ups here, so we don't need little man childs. (laughs) (laughs) Teenage boys. Again, maybe I'll watch the movie now today. Word it like teenage boys because that's kind of like a little. Cringy. man child is better mm, well depends on the hmm. but it's teenage okay, boy sounds kind of like you know under 18 yeah it's okay. a little disturbing that's a little bit weird okay. so i'm not so, gonna even though that's him in the past i'd rather just focus on his future <laughs> his, okay. instagram. No, I have no pro- his instagram his yep. instagram actually not even his instagram we talked about it being a mess it's like the fan pages that have the good content but um it's okay so it's Superman. good somehow we ended up talking once again I don't know movies we... movies we like again I don't even like I would add it to the well, movies I, didn't I don't know, like I didn't know you did not like Superman all those times I would talk about it and here's you were like thing. yep here's the thing mm. it's not that you like Superman no I do you couldn't even remember the story no line. but I don't hate kryptonite. it kryptonite kryptonite I know how I know what it is okay and you he's, thought Lex Luthor was Superman I get them confused villain. the name's confused they're irrelevant because we know he's Superman Kent. yeah they're just whatever they both okay. you know they're both like you know, average kind of stupid name. So, I mean, Clark Kent, like, gross. Like, what sounds like a better like, name for a superhero? Have you ever seen, um, was it Smallville? It's a series that was a TV of, like, show. Te- yeah. Yeah, of, of teenage Superman yeah, or whatever. Yeah, that's weird. Um, that is kind of weird. Yeah. But some people were really into it. Like, that was their... Well, anybody who's new, into, like, superheroes like, is already, like, kind of weird, right? I'm screaming. Well, bit. I mean, again, like, I... Some people just enjoy it. But yeah, I'm they like, do like people who enjoy sci-fi but i'm just like yeah, mm, yeah it's okay it couldn't be me but it's fine well it was you because you watched invisible man and then you told me to watch it see how we circled back around to the original okay but i didn't that's not a superhero film I don't no know but you said from. sci-fi you were like oh i don't really like sci-fi but I'm I, like but you watched it and told me to watch it and i wasted two hours over two hours i wouldn't really qualify as that sci-fi what you is had it cgi it was sci-fi with an invisible it was suit. sci-fi you but know what it's like, sci-fi it's, it's sci-fi is science film. fiction it's, it's not film it, i wouldn't categorize it i would not because it has technology aliens? technology there, dude sci-fi science dude, you know what has technology superman you know what has technology what <laughs> 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 i would not please support me guys because i would not say invisible man with a sci-fi film i would i would 
It has CGI. It has technology. Sci-fi. There's Science no fiction. Space. Science. No aliens. It doesn't have to no. have space or aliens. For me, yes. Oh. It's not Stargate. Well, it's not Atlantis. You have okay. no portals. First of all, <laughs> you just mentioned like a lot of like <laughs> Stargate Dude. portals. 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 Has, like portals to what? Another dimension? Yeah, it's other like galaxies. So maybe you do like It's sci-fi. not like Star Trek. I, I mean, I watched it a lot with my mom. Mm-hmm. It, I'm just not a big fan of it now. Yeah. You really are a little bit condescending <laughs> right now, but it's fine. Um, so it's not that. If it's not at that level, it is not. Okay. Or well, Star that's, Wars. That's or Star I don't like, Wars. I mean, I, say I don't really like Star Wars anyway. I mean, that's okay. I wouldn't call that sci-fi. You would not call Star Wars sci-fi, but you're gonna I call, call Invisible it, Man sci-fi. Wait would, a minute. Wait, wait, wait. You wait, know what? Wait, actually, wait. I don't really know what I would call Star Wars because to me, you know, when a movie Dude, is that like is sci-fi, but you know, it's like the next to sci-fi in the dictionary, you have Star Wars. Okay, but you know how it's like. When you have a movie or a series of movies that's like that are classics, you just know them. You don't even categorize yeah, but them it as is anything. Still sci-fi. Yeah, I guess. What do you mean? Yeah, I'm like, like okay, yeah, you don't know I what guess. you're talking about. You that's know. sci-fi classic, like Star Trek. Star Trek is sci-fi. Oh, if you think if sci-fi. you think Star Trek is sci-fi, then Star Wars must be sci-fi. I guess it is. I don't really categorize it as anything because it's one of those like those movies that are bigger than life. You know, mm-hmm. I don't like them, but I just know. I mean, objectively <laughs> they're speaking, yeah. they're huge. Yeah. yeah. So. Anyway, but that was a tangent. So that's also one for the past like four hundred hours, but that's fine. Movies, movies we like. Movies, movies we like. we ended on movies, which is not you don't even like Superman, but okay. <sighs> oh, I didn't say did. uh, you brought it up. I didn't bring it up. I didn't say I liked that movie. Justice League. What is is Justice he really going to show up in a movie? About Justice League. League. What are you talking about? Is that a movie? Yes. Is be what a do movie? you think? I, I sent you the pictures. I thought it was like just like the Justice League, but there's like no. He is title. in the Justice League. What do you think this is? Him and wait. Batman and him are in the same universe, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're both yeah, DC, right? Yeah, DC? Yes, DC yes, comics. Yes, yes. Not so, Marvel. not Marvel. Marvel yeah. kind of sucks. Um, That's okay. But, yeah, so DC comics. So, yeah, Justice League, because it's going to be Superman, Batman, that other, uh, Superwoman, I think. Really? Yeah, it's like the all of them. The doll is going to come back and slay us all? It's like, I don't know. Did you see Wonder Woman? I did. Yes. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, it was good. Oh, I, I yeah. thought maybe out of all the superhero movies, maybe I'll see that woman in power. It was good. It was very good. She was very good. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, it was whatever. Mm-hmm. Justice League. Yeah, we're gonna go Just, see Justice oh, League. Are we gonna do that? And it comes out in literally I'm sure. a, a while. It's not. It's not coming out anytime soon. Nothing's ready, coming out anytime ready. soon. But I'm ready too. So on that note, Justice League. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Go support Henry because he. Because he needs. Support. No, he doesn't need it. Okay. But he would like it. I oh, think okay. it would. Yeah. Mm. He doesn't, okay. need, he doesn't need our support. Again, this is safe space. I'm not shaming you. No, I'm... I just kind of like... Nothing really to be ashamed about. Night, but other than Kryptonite. that... Night. <laughs> and the fact that you thought Lex Luthor was Superman. I get because their it, names it just confused. Shows, it just... <laughs> Dude, there's no... Like... I just forget who is who. Like, because his name is Superman to me. So I don't think about his alter ego, Clark Kent, all that much. Because <laughs> I don't see him wear his glasses like that. But when he puts his glasses on, I'm like, what's your name again? Okay. I just know you're Superman. I don't know your little business suit or whatever. Whatever his job isn't he rich or something? No, that's no, Batman. That's works rich. At like a news firm at the New York Times. That's or something. correct. Batman's that's where the rich Lois one. Lois Lane is. Batman's the rich one. Yeah. yeah. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. okay. With um like his butler, Alfred. See, okay. I know things. No, you don't. His, but yes. his butler, Alfred, dude, his, with his Batman voice. I saw Dark Knight. Did you? Uh, uh, yeah, Surprise. I've seen Batman Begins, Dark Knight. I've seen all of them. Really? Because mm-hmm. I uh, the only one I remember watching maybe the classic one and the one with um Blaine. Is that what? Blaine oh, that Blaine's was like the third is? one, Dark Knight Rise. I don't remember. Yes, that was the that last was one like, they made. I, I don't know. Again, that one wasn't my favorite. I but out of all superheroes, Batman was always the one that I, he's I not liked really the most. A superhero. Yeah, he kind of sucks kind of, as a superhero. Uh, to be okay, honest, okay. he can't really do anything. Um. So what? If we're being honest, what about? I just found the story. Oh. endearing not that i just found it more interesting than the other ones other than superman and it had cool villains in it like you have joker and you have the penguin True. guy and oh we like joker right not that it's a movie we hate but you liked joker. yeah it was very good yeah 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 that came out almost like, a year ago dude wow wild, right that's insane the meme that it was the meme that it was yeah and i saw that in theaters that's good couldn't be me i've still watched that one too yep i watch these oh yep. watch anyway now we're just really gonna start tearing up all these movies if we keep talking about <laughs> them not. but um but yeah guys so those are some movies that we we disliked and apparently we threw in some movies that we 
liked or don't well, know how to I feel didn't about. Want, I here's the thing. I didn't want to end on the centipede. Well, that's fine. We don't have to end on the human centipede. We didn't end. Well, now we're bringing it back. No, 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 no. Okay. Let's put it back away really quickly. Okay. And talk about we had talked about Batman. Yeah, all Superman, these really good. All things good. that Gabby didn't know, but I, she thinks they're good. No, no. If I try hard enough, I well. You I mean, even, come on. He arrived at Earth. You don't know why. He's allergic. Because he's allergic from to space. Kryptonite. He's allergic. Yeah, he's there's, allergic. There's reasons mm-hmm. behind all of this. Well, I'm sure there is. Okay. I just don't know them. Do you know them? Why did he come to Earth? Do you know? Since you his 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 parents sent him. His parents sent him. Yeah, because their planet was being destroyed. Is that true? Yeah. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I wouldn't know either way. So now you're just making stuff up. No. Ooh. Well, well, our camera turned off, so, so the, for the YouTube video, we don't have nothing, which is fine. That's okay. It leaves um, him on a cliffhanger of is Superman's parents. Is, n- they did not send him. He didn't have yes, parents. Yes, their, their planet was like disintegrating because it was his being... his parents sent him to Earth to yeah, do on what? on a little pod to, fi- to I know. save him. Oh, I thought to go get, to make yeah. him go get somebody else to help them. They were going to die, so oh, they had wow. one last little pod oh. left and they sent him. And they sent him to Earth? Yeah. And that's when he's on that farmhouse with those old people. Yes, his uncle and aunt. Was, no, 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 no. Whatever. It was like his mom, dude. Mom. His mom was like okay, well, old as crap when he ye. when he landed, and then he grew up, and she was like dirt old. <laughs> so that's what I know. I just find that all these like superheroes who have like these weird legal guardian relationships. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're trying to be like so like sensitive. You're like. <laughs> these superheroes that have these weird legal garden <laughs> relationships. It's just like, it's just like, you think of Spider-Man and you're like, okay, well, one of them's dead and then he's like living with his aunt. No, he's living with his aunt. uncle. That's the guy who oh, was like, great power apart. becomes but great like, responsibility. They're, all really they're messed old, up. dude. Old, number one, or dead. Their legal guardians are dead, yeah. Right. Right. Like with Batman, they're dead. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's he's Alfred, dude. Okay. Wait, wait who was he raised weird. by? Was he raised by Alfred? I don't, I don't, I don't his know. His parents were like shot right in front of his face, dude. He's got some trauma. <laughs> well, obviously. Um, but yeah, you all weird, that. weird legal guardian relationships. Like uh, Spider-Man again, or... Uh, Wait, where did Spider-Man come from? Oh, he was normal. He was normal. And then, and then he, he got, got bit. bit. Right, right, right. Okay. But I'm just like, they're not, it's just not normal. I wonder why for Superman, you have to have a not normal... Because he's from outer space. He's out of this world. Okay, well, that one, but... Out of this galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the reason that you don't remember, so... Anyway, wow. What a time. I, just, I, I, I don't know if that, you found that funny, but it's okay. I, that really tickled me because you were just like, they have very, very odd legal guardian relationships. <laughs> it's like, I don't, like, it can be normal. No, be no, that's not interesting. Enough. How interesting or is like this? like Thor, like it's just like weird or Loki. Would you like, rather it, well, they're gods though. Yeah, but I'm just like, it's just, I don't know. It's okay. I mean, would you rather, would you rather, okay, would you rather Superman open like this? <laughs> Clark Kent sitting at the table with his mom being like <laughs> eating spaghetti bolognese like hey this is good did you have a good day yeah i had a good day what'd you do today you talking about how interesting his day is would you rather it be that <laughs> and like <laughs> you know what i mean like hey mom thanks for the spaghetti okay bye like what would you rather it be that <laughs> than, than than what it than what it is Dude, uh, i'm like sweating from laughing but <laughs> it's just like no, but I'm just, it doesn't have to be that way. You okay. know what I mean? How weird it is that this, like, these young teenage boy men, teenage whatever, that weird stage of life, and then you have these old ass, like, yes. dirt parent, legal guardians. Legal guardians, right? And they're not really related to them, but they're, like, really trying to cultivate a relationship, and I'm just like, I, well, it's I don't. not, it's not the old people's fault that Superman, like, landed on their farm. Were well, they supposed to, well, yeah, but then you said I'd the, call CPS. You, you called her but... already, dirt, like, dirt old. Oh, yeah, she's very old. She, she found him I don't know who, I'm so sorry. Pod. Was he naked? That's weird. Well, like with a wasn't he a baby? He was like a baby. Yeah, though. okay, oh, but yeah. still, oh, okay, burned from like the atmosphere or something. Cause the burned from like, the atmosphere. Well, the pod was. You oh, because it came anything. through the atmosphere. Through the, yeah. That's really hot. No, it didn't come from the core of the earth, and it could have, the... dude. At this point, you could tell me. <laughs> I really could. <laughs> could be like, okay, I really could. Um, all I know is that the old lady was like, it became like a meme because she was like on her bed like praying like kneeling and then something like attacked <laughs> the house oh you haven't seen it i'll show you afterwards and people use it as like a meme or whatever anyway that's really funny because then like the, the roof gets like ripped off her house and it's like fire oh, and she's right. like oh. yeah, yeah. like uh, yeah oh, she well. was praying for superman See, this dude. Is what i'm saying like weak i don't know like she's praying have... she's praying to god to help superman no to have a, some is that what no dude. she he wasn't there have a child to have like something to to something. have a child <laughs> like to have a child Sarah. because she's what 90 she years old about, though because Superman had left and she was like, I'll oh, protect him, God. What? And then the roof gets ripped off the house. What? She's kneeling by the bed praying. 
saying. We were talking about when he first arrived. No, naked no, no, in the no, pod, no, 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 no. She was praying, and then the pod breaks and moves to the house. No, because like, my the aunt, scene, my answered prayer to have like a child. No, because the scene is like the house is under attack by something, and Superman has to come save her. I'm I'm ninety nine point nine percent sure. So what was she? She was she was like probably praying for his safety or whatever. Oh, okay. you know how parents do. Okay. Even do even really Sup- good. even Superman's adopted parents be praying for his safety. That's so sweet, dude. He like can <laughs> he can like hold up like the whole freaking world, and they're like, oh, dude, protect him, God. That's so sweet. <laughs> That's like the best. Dude, I, I hate oh, everything good. about this so much because you're really like, I didn't know this was even a meme. Again, yeah, dude, it's I'll show you. so stupid. I'll show you because people like, be like putting funny music behind it and stuff and it really cracks me up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll show you after we, after, I'm going to say after we hang up. I'll show you afterwards <laughs> on recording. I'm losing my mind. Anyway, <laughs> we should stop right now and sign off because this is getting out of control. <laughs> this is going to be the most like crackhead uh, energy episode we've ever had in our lives uh you're right actually that's pretty bad okay um, let me go ahead and there's, up, there's no there's no transition to outro to this so anyway um thanks wrap for joining up. us in this conversation um we hope you enjoyed it and found found it interesting um follow us on social media <laughs> if you if you want more of this energy because let me tell you it's you won't find it anywhere else maybe um so anyway thank you so much uh, and we'll see you next week next week bye, bye.